What is going on guys? My name is Dimitri and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about Sensama. It's a premium productivity and planning app that I wanted to review because I've been seeing a lot of it from people like Keep Productive. I know that Captain Sinbad actually uses it for his planning. And I was just curious how it stacks up against my favorite Notion, as well as some other ones that I've tried like ClickUp and Todoist. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. So first and foremost, when we look at Sensama, it's, it's an app that's pretty much the daily planner for busy professionals. That's the way that they pitch it to us. You can organize everything you need to in one place, tasks, meetings, emails, you need it. It's a, it's a really nice way to prioritize tasks. I know that for a fact, it, like I said earlier, Captain Sinbad uses this as his planning. Uh, you can kind of organize things in a, in a way where you can take tasks and put it into a calendar view. If we look at like how they pitch it for individuals. And I like the fact that it kind of mixes that calendar aspect with the task aspect, uh, similar to what Week did, which I thought was a pretty neat productivity app. And you can pretty much carve out focused work and like visualize what improvements you're making. So I'm going to sign up here. So you get this just so for pricing purposes, just want to call it out that it is uh, free for 14 days. There's a 14 free trial. And then after that, it's $20 a month and you won't get asked for it until the, the trial is over, which is nice. So then you can press submit here and it's going to set up Sunsama for me based on what I just said. So if I create the account, I'm going to create it with my Google account probably. So it's going to ask me, what do I use? We got Gmail, we got Todoist. So I want that to keep track of my Dimitri one. So then if we look at this, we have our integrations auto set up, fill in your day with work and tools. So yeah, sure, I'll, I'll add 13 events, why not? It's interesting how this works. So it can set these up right away. So I guess I made a mistake here. So if you use things for like time blocking, obviously that's different. So if you had meetings and stuff, it'd be nice to auto set this up, but no, I don't, I don't really want this here. Maybe if I want to put my strength and core in there, honestly, that's not a bad thing to have. Wake up time. Okay, so next. You can drag and drop things to go to different days, which is nice. So you can arrange your tests in the order you want to do them. Pretty solid. I'd say that order looks right. So it kind of gives you a breakdown of the amount of time that you have in the day to do things after you do that. So we can post it to Slack or get started. Let's get started. So when we look at this, interestingly enough, we can have our Google Calendar here. Really nice. I like that. I like the fact that it's set up here. I like the fact that we have tasks here. We can connect calendars. We can like show what calendars we want. Like we can have the test one show instead. That's really nice. This is a nice functionality here, honestly. This, the integrations here, as you can see, are the different uh, calendars that you can have. You can have Todoist here. So if I added Todoist here, I, I agree to the connection. So in the inbox, there's none, but if I look at today, wow, I can have this integration. This is nice. I don't mean to fanboy, but like this is the first time I've ever like experienced using the app. I've seen it before, but it's nice that you can have everything here. Um, you can drag stuff from there onto things like if we wanted to record the video today um, say you wanted recurring tasks and to do this and you can drag these here i'm actually not sure where that aligns but i mean like if you if you want to that that sounds like a great option to me or if you're getting assigned things at work this is nice as well so we have the next seven days we can look at that uh, we have the different projects here different labels as well um, filters based on like the different filters that we've have set up. So the integrations here are nice. If we look at adding Gmail, hmm. So I have my important tasks in my inbox. When you're done with an email, I could mark it as red is what I'd like to do. Yeah. Finish. As you can see here, there's a bunch of the security alerts. Um, I can drag the different emails here from there. I can look, I can look in this and see what so I have a bunch of Gumroad templates that downloaded, but if I really want here, I could, for example, maybe go to Starred. And like when I'm working on email, if I star something, like I had that Zorby sponsorship, I obviously star that. I could probably put that into a task for the day, and that's a really solid in integration as well. And I guess a nice call out would be the fact that like Sensama does have recurring tasks, which is nice, so we can recur this every week, uh, every day, 
uh, every month on a day, on the day, monthly on the first, um, every Monday or Tuesday, Wednesday at whatever time it is, uh, that recurring task functionality is pretty nice there. And I think that when you have an app that has something as simple as recurring tasks, but as effective as recurring tasks with calendars associated with it, that's pretty solid. This is the task view we have, but if we switch it right to where the calendar is the main view, then we have the tasks over here on the right. So if we look at this, we can see it has my Google calendar set up here. So it's kind of an all in one option, right? So I can go here and quickly look uh, at what I got going on for the day. And then if we move further with that, we can change this to a one day view, three days, similar to what we have with Google calendar, just the weekdays. Uh, we can actually have a month view, which I think is nice as well. Okay, I'm a little bit mind blown at how nice the functionality is here, but you can actually take these and move them as well. So you can you can take that and move that there, move that back. So you can really do everything in this app, to be honest. So the rest of the features that I want to break down here are the fact that like you can add channels, right? You can add different channels to different parts of your life. You can add work context, uh, create channel name, so work. You can make it the default channel or not. You can get a Slack integration connected with it. Close this guy out. There's nothing in the work one, right? But the all has, has everything going on in this all channel. And I think it's nice that it has a similar layout to like what Slack does so that like if you have Slack integrations, it works like that. But if we go into something like objectives really quick, you can write an objective. So my objective is to edit this video. And we can go in here and see the weekly objective is do this for 30 minutes on that day. Do this for 30 minutes on that day. Say we just wanted to get this done for like 30 minutes for three days. We just wanted to get this video edited or we can do something like a habit. I feel like actually a habit would be a great example for this. Oh, so like work out. So like we could work out 30 minutes a day, five days a week. Boom. And that's a nice objective to have. So it sets it up throughout the week really quick as a plan. And then if we go into the backlog, so these are tasks that would necessarily be the specific uh, time and day, right? But it's something like a task you want to work on Sunday, but aren't committed to yet. And, and this like, you know, it doesn't have like all the database functionality or something like notion, but this is something that's pretty solid as well. It's like the whole someday, maybe or future thinking idea for, from GTD, right? It's like a uh, by world championship track tickets, it's something I wouldn't want to be doing for a while. Okay. So this is kept in a different area than the weekly objectives and is, is just nice that it, it, it can take that and eventually be like, mm, maybe I can fit that in this week. Uh, and then if we look at the archive tasks, which have rolled over at least four days, so four consecutive days. Uh, so that's, that's a nice option as well. So that like if stuff is, is kind of getting, getting out the way, uh, you have a place for that as well. And then it does have good search functionality. So if we look at edit thumbnails, like we do see that it shows edit and it shows all the different ones that are edit. So um, we can filter, hide repeating tasks, hide completed notes, hide agenda notes, hide tasks. Honestly, I think for any working person, the functionality here is nice. It has varying channels. It has time specific things. It has the due date. It has a plan versus actual. So you can see how much you're working on stuff. It has integrations to Google Calendar, Outlook, Gmail, Todoist, uh, there's come some other ones here, GitHub. I mean, the, the Jira, there are a lot of really nice places that you can pull things from when it comes to your work and whatnot. And, and when doing something like that, I mean, you're looking at a productivity app that can kind of channel your different parts of your life and you can take those different parts of your life and make it more organized and have different workspaces for different types of things. So honestly, for anyone who's willing to spend 20 bucks a month, like you're not going to have a bad time using this app. I honestly think that it's surprising that I've never heard this much about the app. It's surprising that people haven't brought up how positive it is. I know that Key Productive made a video on it where he used it for a week. And honestly, I would like to try it out for the free trial and see if I could manage it for a week. This thing looks pretty great. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this review of Sansama. Thank you guys so much for watching this review on Sasama. Make sure to click the link down below if you want to try it out and click one of those end cards right there in order to check out the rest of my content on productivity apps. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.